Firstly, I want to thank you and your family for your sacrifice for our country's freedom with your spouse or loved one having served in the U.S. Armed Forces. I'm Jen Hernandez. I've closed thousands of loans over the last 28 years, and I love to bring real facts, no BS. And today, we are talking about veteran benefits for home buying for surviving spouses. So if you're a widow of a veteran of the armed forces and you think that there are benefits that they were entitled to as a veteran, you wanna make sure and watch this video. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do and some of the benefits that you're gonna have access to. The first thing to know that's important is that the death of the veteran needs to be service related in order to access the benefits. Now, it doesn't always have to be evidently clear in the beginning. There's been cases where a service member passed away from cancer, for example, and it was able to be linked that that cancer was a result from exposure that they had while on duty. So sometimes there's some connecting of the dots that needs to be done. So make sure you talk to your lender about those things. Now I know these questions are really tough to answer, but just know that we're here to help you to access and unlock some of the benefits that are were available to the veteran that can be available to you too. There's also a document that you're gonna need to obtain. Now I'm gonna put the link to that document in the notes, the description of this video. It's called a DIC document, which means Dependency Indemnity Compensation Document. And that's where the surviving spouse fills this out in order to get and receive benefits that the veteran was entitled to. Now this is critical in using this and having this document for the use of home loan benefits. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure you get that form. You can again use the link that we have down in the description. The other thing that you're going to need is the veterans DD-214. Now that's a discharge uh, document that they would have gotten at discharge. You can also obtain another copy if you're not able to find it. And then there's also something called a certificate of eligibility. Now, if you don't have that on hand, the lender uh, can help you obtain the certificate of eligibility document. You're also going to need the death certificate. So you'll need those four things, the DIC, the death certificate, the DD-214, and the certificate of eligibility. The lender can help you with that one. And that is how you can apply to see if veteran benefits are available to you. Now, what are these? Jennifer, what are these benefits that we're possibly entitled to? VA loans are really the best loans that are available for anyone. And it's because we want to reward our veterans that have sacrificed for our country. So you're able to have a 0% down loan up to $2 million. So depending on what market you live in and what the size house you need for your family. Now the only thing is that whatever income you do have needs to be able to qualify with the payment that is going to be ensuing from the house. Now, VA has flexible guidelines for debt to income ratio. In fact, just last week, we have a veteran that was approved with an 80% debt to income ratio. Now this doesn't always happen. Normally it's about 50, 55% that's approvable, but there are instances where we can stretch those guidelines a little bit. So it's important to get with a lender as soon as possible so that you can see what you and your family have accessible to you. The other good thing about VA is that they're really lenient on credit. Credit can go down to six, uh, 600, sometimes even 580. If the credit is lower, beware that the debt to income ratios will really probably not likely to be able to go as high as they normally would. But again, that's something that a lender can help you figure out. They're lenient on things like collections, uh, you know, credit mishaps with things like letters of explanation. Uh, they're really wanting to do everything that they can to make home ownership possible for our veterans and surviving spouses of veterans. 
What do you need to do next? We understand that this is a trying time that you've lost your loved one, you've lost your veteran, you've got a family, you wanna make sure that you have a safe place to live for you and your family. So the first thing that you should do is gather the documents that we talked about and get with a lender as soon as possible. Now, I lend in 35 states. I would love to hear from you. If I'm not able to help, I'm happy to give you a trusted referral. I have friends in all states that are in lending. Um, but, the, but the first thing to do definitely is gather the documents, get to a trusted person that can really help you unlock those things for home ownership. Now you're probably wondering, is my credit where it needs to be? I've got a great video about credit that you can watch right after here. Credit secrets that you'll never find on the internet. So stay tuned, take care.